morning. Dan here again, sharing our day one or in 2024. It's going to be the Tuesday practice and it's going to involve several bits. We're going to just kind of tidy up the instruction so that we can really get to it this year. Or you can use this as an arrangement for your own workout at home. So the uh, first one of our bits is going to be push work, but we're outside, we're outside the box. We're going to use push work that is going to challenge us in, in different linear pathways, right? So instead of going down with your regular push up, think about setting your regular push up and then switching your hands somehow. And that's how we'll be doing our push work. And if you watch the terminology video, then you know what I mean when I say we're looking for, for protraction at the top of it. Right, so big full shoulders at the top. And then the bottom of our rep is going to be down to the ground. And we'll have ways to modify that, but the full rep counts when we touch the chest to the target, which could be the sand, right? And then come into full protraction, and we're also going to be working offline foot. And when we're doing push work, we can start with leveling up on the deck and so on, or with the knee, but I want to keep that straight line and keep my tailbone tucked and maintain my posterior pelvic tilt throughout. And then when I head down, I'm touching the target and pressing back up. Right, and then the next step, after you get your knee push-ups, and we're looking to five to 10 reps, depending upon how difficult it is for you. So the next step is going with the half push push-up, where I come into the high plank, right? My hands are offline, and I'm working a slow release slow release, slow release, slow release, down to the target, and then I can use my knees to cut me loose. And that would be one, right? And then you slow release, slow release, slow release, right? The halvesy, right, would be the next step to a building strength in our push work. And then we can do the full bit, where we go with offline setup, right? Let's do a different one now. Right, think about pressing down, but the whole time I'm maintaining that posterior pelvic tilt and I'm finishing with a full push. All right, and that'll be our push work. And then we're gonna put in our pull work next. And pull work we're gonna do with a ring and we can bring it in. And the idea is to go ahead and get the same thing, chest to target, full extension, right? So we can put our grip in any sort of way. We can go with double underhand, we can go mixed grip, we can go overhand grip, right? But we wanna pin it to our target and then figure out where I can hold that. And wherever I can hold that, that would be the part, right? And then I wanna get that body line again. Slow release, slow release, slow release. The full expression. Right, and then back up to chest to target. Right, we'll work our day one pulls on a single ring row. And then we'll have a, a lunge box set up, right? And the lunge box will be a walking lunge forward, right? And then duck unders or a lateral lunge, right? We can duck under and we'll have a small box to go on, but the lunges forward lead to duck unders, which lead to reverse lunging. Okay? And then after we get our set, we'll go around the box and around it the other way. And after we get that set, we'll go into a single leg hinge, which can be with the kickstand, and we can end up loading this if we need more. But the basic pattern is this right here. I'm pulling retracted shoulder, and I'm hinging, and I've got my back leg in a kickstand, you see. Chin up, leading with the chest and not the chin. Right, but we can also leave that foot go and head down. But the key is keeping that quality in the spine. All right, I'm not trying to round myself to get there. All right, and we'll do like five to 10 each side on that. Then we'll switch and we'll head down to the surf, but for the sake of, of single shoot, we'll do it right here with you. And we'll work the apple and banana. Right, or we can also, they call it suitcases if you don't come all the way up. But the apple and banana, I like to call it. So you come up and try and make an apple, right? Tuck in, tuck in. And then you alternate that with the hollow body and pull back up. 
So we can modify down and just work the leg extensions. Right? Or we can stay on the back here and tuck. This is the one they call the suitcase. Right, but each time I'm flexing this, I've got my posterior pelvic tilt, you know that I'm not dropping out in my spine, and so on. So the apple and banana is our first ab exercise. Our second one will be the crab kick up. If I take my hands and turn them out a little bit, set them behind me, I'll be able to vault my hips up, and ideally we'll be able to lift to one foot, right? First step would be a little march here. And the next step would be to kick up here and get a full extension. And you note that I'm pressing the hips up each time. We could just come down and just elevate the hips if we have trouble with this. And then we can also challenge our counterbalancing by coming up with both hand and foot. Right, and after we do our crab kick up, we'll be going into a heel tap. And this can go just like this. By a little wiggle, I've got the shoulder protracted. I'm not reaching with my chin. Right, I've got the shoulder protracted and the chin up. I'm coming down, right? Level one heel tap is gonna be holding this hollow body and rocking back and forth. Level two is I'm gonna sit here and touch my heels alternately, right? Going for, oh, about 10, 15 reps on that. And then we'll go into our cardio aspect, which is going to involve crawling. And we'll crawl a small course, and you'll be able to move in all sorts of ways if you want to use your legs differently, or you want to move it backwards. All right, but a crawl is going to lead us to a jump. And the jump we can take very, very carefully. But the sand is our friend here. Well, it's a friend and an enemy because it's gonna steal our power, but it's also gonna take the impact away. So with the jump, I want my body mechanics to all coordinate. And it can just be a little jump. Right, but this is our jumping mechanic that we'll look for so that we can do things like jump forward. Right, or jump up. Right, and the sand steals our bit, right? Really powerful plyometric bit. And after our crawl and our jump, then we take a run. And that run can be a skip if you're not into the run, but it should be a, a fast run, like 80%. And we'll either go up the dune or down into the water, and that's up to you. And then come back out and you do the whole thing again. Push, pull, all right, lunge box. All right, and after lunge box, we do our lifts, right? And we can end up loading this in the long run, but that's just a basic pattern. After that, it's going to be down to our abs, right? Where we've got our apples and bananas, crab kick up, and heel tap. And that's our day one loop. So try it out at home, right? Try and get a feel for these things so that when you get to the sand, you got the really best performance that you can get out of it. And I can't wait to see it. We'll see you out there. And if we don't, have a great practice.